Hi everyone, welcome to Studio at Home. I'm Danielle Hatch, an educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. You can pause this video or scroll back to any step if you need to. For today's Studio at Home project, I'm going to show you how to create a woven bowl using a recycled plastic bottle, inspired by the work of the artist Sheila Gallagher. Gallagher is a multimedia artist living in Boston whose work explores the nature of perception, belief, and different modes of representation. She works in many mediums, including video, smoke painting, ink drawing, plastic trash compositions, installations, and live animation. Today we're inspired by Gallagher's works that are created by composing recycled pieces of plastic. Gallagher combines the plastic pieces on cookie sheets, which the artist then heats on a kitchen grill, melting the plastic together into romantic landscape scenes. Gallagher's work, Plastic Leela, is part of the Crystal Bridges permanent collection. See the link below for more information. Here are the materials that you'll need today. You'll start with the plastic bottle. You'll need scissors, a marker, a mixing bowl, and then materials to weave into your plastic. So this can be small strips of paper, ribbon, yarn, fiber, whatever you have at home. You'll also need a glue gun to attach the ends of your fibers or ribbon together. So step one will be to wash out your plastic bottle and dry it so you have a nice clean material to work with. You'll also want to remove any of the packaging on your plastic water bottle. The second step will be to take your marker and draw a line around the top of your bottle. You'll use this as a guide to cut out the top portion of your bottle. After you've drawn your line around the top of the bottle, you'll take your scissors and poke a hole through the bottle and cut around the, the line. For younger artists, you might wanna ask an adult for help cutting into the water bottle. So once you've cut all the way around your bottle and removed the top, then you can take your marker and you'll begin to draw a series of lines all along the side of your bottle. You can try to space these lines out as evenly as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make these as wide or as thin as you like. Now that you have all your lines drawn, you can begin to cut along these lines, leaving the bottom portion of the bottle uncut. Now that you've cut all along the lines of your plastic bottle, you'll turn your mixing bowl upside down and set your bottle on top of it, spreading out the pieces of plastic so that they evenly cover the bowl. You can use any shape of bowl you'd like depending on how you'd like the shape of your bowl to turn out. It'll mimic the shape of whatever you set it on top of. So next you'll grab your yarn, paper, or fiber and you'll begin to weave the materials in and out of your plastic bottle. So I'm going to start here at the top and pull it up tight and then just lift as I weave over and under. Once you've reached the end of one of your pieces of ribbon or twine and you're ready to start a new color, you can grab your glue gun and just place a dot of glue on the plastic and press your ribbon onto that. And then you'll take your new piece of ribbon and you'll do the same thing. I'll add a dot of glue and attach that and then begin weaving again. Now step five, once you've woven your materials through to the end of your bottle, you can pick it up off your bowl and apply just a little bit of glue to the end Secure your ribbon. And 
now that you've created your own plastic water bottle bowl, we'd love to see what you've made. Please share images of your work on social media using the hashtag CB from home.